All right, I think I finally found a co-host with something to say that can help me with an... In oh, sorry. I right. So if, if you don't speak Chewbacca, I'm not even sure that's the language. Robert, is that a language? Uh, Wookie. Wookie. If you don't speak Wookie, let me translate for you. We're going to be talking about a real-life hero right here from Ottawa. His name is Alex Dorward. He has an initiative called... 12 B cause and he's going to be doing 12 physical and or mental feats over a 12 month period and the best part of all this he's doing it to raise funds for 12 different charities. The initiative's called 12 because and the idea here is I'm doing 12 separate feats so a feat could be a physical or and or mental uh, feat uh, over the course of 12 months for 12 different charities and the idea here was during the pandemic, I realized a lot of obviously individuals, a lot of businesses, but also charities uh, had uh, a lot of challenges. So for instance, uh, obviously people that were under financial uh, stress wouldn't be donating as much. Uh, businesses wouldn't be donating as much. Uh, and on top of that, a lot of fundraisers that typically charities get quite a bit of money from uh, were unable to be held due to COVID um, restrictions. And in some cases, uh, charities even lost money. I recognized I wanted to help out because overall I've been pretty fortunate. So I wanted to help out. And to do that, I, I couldn't really volunteer in person. Like for instance, I couldn't volunteer at a homeless shelter because um, I, I, I care for my parents and particularly my dad. I drive him to his, um, his chemo appointments. So I have to be pretty COVID friendly uh, for lack of a better term. So I couldn't really do those sort of initiatives. So instead this way I can still raise money, uh, still see people outside. Uh, but not have to do anything indoors that would put myself or others or my family at risk. So I thought to myself, what can I do that's kind of unique, might get people interested, but also keep me physically and mentally motivated through probably another COVID uh, year. So I thought, okay, why don't I do one event or one different feat every single month for 12 months? And I thought, okay, well, what charity should I do? Well, let's just do 12 charities. It's too difficult in my opinion, to choose one charity. And also in terms of fundraising, it's much easier when you give people choice because maybe some people might be more interested in a local charity or some people might be interested in something that has more of an international impact. So by having 12 charities divided between uh, local, national and international charities, it gives people more opportunity to donate based on their uh, preferences. In terms of feats, I've, as you know, I've got 12 feats for April. It's an uh, international uh, charity. It's uh, water.org and that to do that, the feed is kind of symbolic. I'm carrying 20 liters of water for six kilometers in sandals. And the reason why I'm doing that is because that's the average distance and amount of water that people, that women and children in Asia and Africa have to carry every single day. So I'm doing this one day and it's a challenge. May is the probably my, the one I'm looking forward to the most, not because it's my favorite charity or anything like that. I, I like them all equally, but because it's probably the most relaxing I'm doing um, a paddle and portage uh, through Ottawa. So down the Rideau River, down the Ottawa, uh, to ba basically what they would call like the indigenous highways where the Gatineau, the Ottawa, and the, uh, and the Rideau all intersect. And that's why Ottawa was a, was a meeting place because of those, those water highways, uh, so to speak. And that's for uh, Minwashin Lodge. So Minwashin Lodge is a local indigenous women's shelter that I volunteered at before. June, I am skipping for one hour straight this one again sounds pretty easy, but get a, get a skipping rope and skip for five minutes consistently and you'll be pretty exhausted. So I'm doing this for an hour. I've been training so far. Um, at first I did five minutes and I was exhausted. I thought there was no chance of me doing an hour. Now I'm up to 40 minutes, but unfortunately I'm getting pretty bad shin splints now from constantly jumping. So um, I was hoping to not get injured until after at least a couple of feats, but oh well, <laughs> that's already started. Uh, so that one is for um, the Heart and Stroke Foundation. I think it was called Heart and Stroke Canada now. That one kind of is nostalgic to when I was a kid and I used to do jump rope for heart. Uh, and I haven't skipped since then until now. So it's been a long time. I remember skipping being a lot easier as a kid. July, I'm, submers uh, I'm doing a four hour submersion underwater. Uh, I'm a certified paddy dive master and, and diving is a big passion of mine. And the idea here is to raise awareness towards the ocean for the uh, World Wildlife Fund. Then in August, I'm doing an Olympic triathlon again for War Child. I did that two years ago. I'm going to do it again this year. Not entirely sure how I'm going to train since the 
pools, I imagine, will continue to be closed, but uh, I'll find a way. September, I'm doing a marathon for Terry Fox Foundation. That's gonna be tough, what I'm dreading the most because I actually hate running. Similar to walking, uh, it's slow, so I don't really enjoy it that much, uh, but I'm gonna do it anyways. People can help help me out in a couple of ways. One, they can just share the initiative. You see this, uh, this broadcast, you see my website, just share it, any of my social, uh, on Instagram, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, you can share that. Uh, any, even if people aren't donating, I'm still happy that people are raising awareness for the, the charities and, and what's actually, what, what they're standing for. Uh, people can also feel free to donate. You can go to my website, 12because.ca. Uh, donate button right at the top there. That'll take you to a website called CanadaHelps.org. Uh, there you can donate, you can allocate money to any charities that you want, any combination. Primarily, if you can share and donate, that'd be terrific. Uh, or if you want to volunteer at those, at those uh, charities or initiatives, that'd be terrific as well. It doesn't have to be through my initiative. I'm happy with any impact. Well, it looks like I have a lot of catching up to do when it comes to my reading, and I am a comic book fan, so I know this is the place to be. Again, we're at Leisure Park Entertainment. Uh, that was our first segment on this week's episode. And speaking of that, if you happen to have a segment idea for us, please reach out to us. Just head over to rogerstv.com and reach out to our producer. And Harley, I don't know if you realize this, but you actually have your own line of, of comic books here. I think... With all the time I have on my hands these days, uh, I'm going to start here on, on your comic book. We'll see you next week.